Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be about uh, cracking tips for cracking Bitsad 2023. So there are plenty of other channels on YouTube where they used to give lots of tips like how to crack, okay? But this video is gonna be different. In this video, I'm gonna give you seven tips, okay? We can call it as a secret, which no other YouTubers might be uh, stressed up, uh, might have said you or stressed up on. So this seven, if you know this seven tips, right? You can stand out of the crowd. You can use this as uh, as an advantage to score a good Bitsat score and get into Bits Pilani. Okay, so let's get started. Before going to the video, I'll just uh, introduce myself. If you don't know who I am, uh, I'm Danusha Abi, fourth year student. I'm gonna graduate in May. Like in just one week, I'll be graduating from Bits Pilani Goa campus. Uh, from uh, B chemical engineer. Okay, so let's quickly get started. Okay, so first secret is that uh, Diet so you may ask uh, what uh, like I came here to watch video like learn about physics chemistry max uh, Time management something like that, but you are talking about diet what you may ask like that. Okay, but see diet plays a very important role the thing is that you might have prepared for like maybe from your 9th standard from like or 10 uh, what is that 11th standard 2 years or 4 years but the thing is that the 3 hours during the BITSAT exam what you do matters okay so you need to have focus so diet has a like uh, it it uh, is the major factor which will uh, tell you how focused you will be okay so also the diet will make you feel positive and light okay so like the tips are like um, eat plenty of vegetables and green uh, fruits green especially green vegetables and this is summer right so try to eat like cold foods like uh, watermelon cucumbers so that you don't uh, uh, your body does not heat up because you'll be studying a lot i know like day and night your body will become a uh, heat up so to avoid those kind of problems eat correct foods like as i said before watermelon and musk melon like drink plenty of juices drink butter milk something like that and also it is recommended to eat plant based diet and avoid animal based diet and also the main thing is that kindly don't eat junk foods or don't eat something outside it may happen that suppose if you eat something uh, from outside it may not uh, it uh, what is it? You, it may not be suitable to you. Don't try any new food during this time because this is gonna be a crucial uh, part, right? So don't try new food items. Just stick to homemade food. Eat it. Once the exam is done, do whatever you want. Okay. So till the exam, eat homemade food, and so that you will become you will be healthy as well as you will be focused. Okay. And the next thing is that uh, proper sleep and sleep cycles. Okay, see, I know most of you won't sleep, like only will sleep for like some three to four hours and study, study, study. Please don't do like that. Okay, see, your body needs uh, like rest so that it can recharge itself for the next day. Okay, so you should at least have seven hours of sleep. Okay, so please don't give up on sleep. Okay, uh, it's like a battery. If the once the battery is uh, uh, like down, you need to recharge it, right? If, without recharging it, you, if you use it, the efficiency won't be there. Similarly, sleep is something most important for a human. So you need you need to sleep at least for seven hours per day. And the next thing is that sleep cycle also matters. See, take an example. I know many of you might study the whole night. Since see now nowadays the your school might have over and all the exam only you'll be having only competitive exams so you'll be at home only continuously okay so there is no proper sleep like you will sleep in the night uh, you will study in the night and morning you'll be sleeping just imagine on the exam day you should actually be writing your exam the daytime not the night time okay so you should change your sleep cycle so that in the mornings you study and the night you sleep okay else during the exam day it will be very difficult for you see it's up to you if you are so uh, if you are so strong mentally strong that just on one day you can just change your sleep cycle then well and good if not try to practice from now okay so study in the daytime sleep in the night time minimum seven hours of sleep okay yes the third thing is that proper clothing on the exam day 
okay you may ask what is this how come clothing is going to affect me okay the thing is you're going to sit uh, continuously for 3 hours you're going to write okay you should wear proper clothings so that you'll feel comfortable and you write it don't wear any new dresses on that day or like don't wear the dresses which don't fit you properly wear something which you are so uh, comfortable and it will be free enough okay so like do, do, on that day don't be like i need to look uh, fashionable i need to look uh, stylish or i'm going to wear this uh, what is a jacket shoes everything keep it simple okay wear the clothes which you are most comfortable in and yes so that you don't have to focus on like it's so hot or it's like it's not proper something like that you will only your focus will be only on the exam okay so proper clothing on the exam day is the must okay so this is the third point and the fourth point is proper mindset you may ask mindset for what i'll just tell some examples you just see i'll be doing some uh, reality checks you will think yeah okay these things matters right i'll just one by one okay the first thing is that uh, do you listen to music when you solve problems or study something yes right if you listen to music hit that like button and tell in the comments whether you listen to music or not just imagine all the four years you will be practicing hearing to music continuously and studying but on the exam day you are not allowed to take your mobile phones or you can't listen to music right so what you're going to do so from now from today from like if you're watching this video you need to stop listening to music while studying you may think uh, how can i stop all of us and then how will you uh, uh, how will you write your exam on that day without music so you need to practice yourself right so from today if you are if you are you have the addicted to uh, listen to music when you are studying please stop it from today practice practice without uh, listening to music okay the next thing is that do you have the habit of using uh, calculators like because uh, in exam you are not allowed to use calculators right so don't forget that uh, sometimes you might be given online calculators or you may not be given calculators also so when you practice problems please don't use calculators because if you are used to that in exam day it will be very difficult for you the next thing is that uh, like example table and chair see you might be sitting in a comfortable table and chair in your room it is hot summer you may have your acs your fans but you don't know how your test center is going to be whether you'll be getting a proper seat or whether there'll be a good ventilation or some some other person next to you might be making some kind of noise or something like that see you should have the mindset to adapt to anything in that exam right that 3 hours you should be only focused on your exam okay see these are i'm telling from my personal experiences and uh, yes i wasn't that much ready so i suffered a lot but i don't want you guys to do to do the same mistake okay so yes have a proper mindset these are some of the some examples again there are much more so be ready to accept anything your goal has to be solve questions and maximize your score on that day okay so this is the fourth point the fifth point is that please don't calculate your score cut off branch and your uh, uh, goa branch or planning branch hyderabad branch you will before the exam itself right, you will be like okay i want uh, computer science at uh, goa campus so i need to score this much so which means i have to solve this many questions see this is something very bad okay and you will see the previous year cut off you will be like okay if i score this much this branch is uh, for me it's not like that guys see the cut off will change every year you don't know what happens see the the toughness of the paper right sometimes will be more difficult so cut off will be low and something like that okay see this this is something which we cannot this is not in our hand okay also during the exam day don't be like oh, if you are solving some problems you 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 th- out of 10 questions you are not able to attend seven questions you will be like okay i attempt 10 questions seven questions not able to and oh, that's it i'm gone uh, i won't be getting computer science in all in all three campuses that's it my life is gone why guys see you don't know maybe the paper might be really tough okay so on the exam day or before the exam don't think about cut offs uh, which bra- i want this branch in uh, this uh, uh, campus and this much score i should score please don't think about it all you have to do now is that 
prepare for BITSAT or previous year, solve previous year question papers, do test analysis. Your focus should be on that. Okay, and on the exam day, your focus should be maximizing your score. That's it, done. Once the exam is over, when during the counseling part, that time you can think about what are the cutoff, which branch you will be getting, talk to seniors that time. Okay, this is not the time. Okay, so don't plan your cutoffs now itself. This is the fifth point. Okay, so the sixth point is that, guys, do you think uh, BITSAT uh, is like end of everything that that is the most higher thing which you need to achieve in your life is it like that if you are thinking like that then you are wrong guys okay see bitsat is one among the exam which allows you to get into a top institute in india okay that's it it does not mean that if you uh, see if you crack bitsat well and good all the best for that uh, the, but you need to uh, if you crack the bitsat i'm telling uh, which means it's not like that you you are life like you achieve something big in life that's it you're going to relax from it. no this is just the first success after that you need to come to college and build that is the see college is the beginning of your career okay it's not like once you crack bits set that is you're going to relax for your life it's not like that cracking bits set is your first step in the success you have more steps to go you have you'll be getting more hurdles in the future in college life come in the play during placements after that if you go to work master higher studies okay this cracking bit set or maybe take je also okay this is just first step for success okay if if you are a person who cannot um, crack bit set if you like so stressed upon that i need to crack bit set whatever happens well that's it my life is life will go into the darkness something like that. please it's not like that guys there are people who are not from IITs or BITS or NITs are still successful in life, okay? And there are people from IITs, BITS, NITs who actually uh, died because of suicide, okay? So, this is something which you uh, are responsible for. In whatever college you are, if you have talent and skills, you will shine, okay? So, please don't be like, BITSAT is my life. And uh, if I if I could not crack it or if you stress, see the bit side might be in the month of May, okay, May, May twenty, like something like that. But from now itself, we'll start stressing like I don't know how I, how I'm gonna crack it, something like that. Please don't take stress, okay. Bit side is gonna be one more exam which allows you to go to bits planning. That's it. That's it. Does not mean that you're gonna die after that if you cannot crack. It's not like that, okay. You have plenty of other opportunities. So. BITSAT is just one more exam, okay? Please remember it. And the seventh one is the most important one when, uh, according to me. This is something really, really, really uh, secret which only I think I might be the first person to tell you that I'm, I can definitely guarantee to you that there might not be any other person in like uh, from the YouTubers who might have stressed up on this point, okay? So before knowing the uh, before I tell you the last point, the last secret, uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, hit that like button and uh, yes, okay. So the seventh one is that uh, you need to practice doing meditation. You may be like, okay, again, you don't talk like my, uh, from my school teacher or my parents or my relatives, okay. See guys, doing meditation is something which I uh, started when uh, like around seven years back and I felt from my own experiences I felt a lot of changes the focus level which I had before and which I am having now has like tremendously increased okay see this will actually allow see if you can't uh, sit and meditate for let's take five minutes then how are you gonna sit in a three hours exam with your full focus how can you do this don't tell like no 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 that tunnel i can do it so that is different that is exam which i've been preparing for four years so i can sit three hours continuously see when you can't just close your eyes and do meditation for five minutes how can you expect to sit for three hours and during the exam day and be fully focused how can it be so please um, start doing meditation okay so from see this is something uh, don't be like okay anyway this is uh, late so i will start after the exam no it's not like that Today is your day one 
and from today you start practicing meditation just start 5 minutes per day and slowly increase to 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes like that see this will actually improve your focus guys if you do this like i promise you that after your bitsat exam you will actually thank me for this tip okay if you practice seriously okay so if you see suppose in case you don't know how to practice meditation you need something like uh, how to do it you can um, comment down below or you can post uh, like pm me on my instagram i'll leave the my insta id in the uh, description so you can pm me and uh, please start doing meditation okay okay guys so these are the seven secret tips which nobody might have said you in your life okay see i hope see if you are watching this video till this end then actually you are lucky enough that you are already if you if you implement this in your life you are already uh, top of the crowd okay use this as an advantage and yes so bitsat is going to be one of your exam in your life one of your success that's it okay and also it's a first success if you crack it okay so yes guys thank you for watching this video and all the best for your bit set and these seven tips it's not only for bit set actually it can it's for any competitive exam or not even competitive it's, it's for all the exams okay even for je okay so okay guys thank you for watching so all the best once again bye bye